take a look. This is what I'm after. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Smoky Jazz Barbecue. And today, we're going to be yet again doing a very, very simple cook. And what are we doing today, guys? Man, let me prep you up for the big, big bang. And what I mean by that, guys, is that if you ever been to a Korean barbecue-like style restaurant where you sit down on the table and you have a griddle chop or a grill, and either it's buffet style where you get your own food like meats and vegetables and sort of things that you want to grill or cook or you have a waiter or waitress bring you the food that you want to order or grill at the same time guess what you gotta pay to cook or grill your own food i did not stutter you heard that correctly you pay to grill or cook your own food in a korean barbecue like style restaurant <laughs> I know right it sounds redundant but let me express how amazing that food is mm, I mean the experience is totally different and the give and take about it is that the best part is that you get to eat some delicious food that you grill yourself and you don't have to clean up they do all the cleanup for you so that's the best part so today's version of what are we doing today guys it's my take on korean style barbecue beef short ribs oh man these are going to be so amazing so simple and you can do this at your house you know by yourself you don't need no help from nobody and two ingredients we need guys a simple marinade you can use any kind of marinade you want for you know beef and then we're gonna a little flavor extra flavor that we're gonna add is this the GSP by Pitbulls man this is gonna be so quick and amazing guys so come on we gotta get this start, uh, process started because I can't wait to eat man because that's gonna be the best part of the entire video so if y'all ready let's take this journey together take a look at these guys man they're looking phenomenal let me just tell you what I did so far. I took them out of the package, rinsed off any excess debris that might have been in the package. You don't have to do that step if you don't want to, guys, but I did it that way. And what I did, I did like a hash mark uh, type of crossing. So that way, when I use my marinade, which I'm using the herb and garlic marinade, um, and you can use any kind of marinade you want, guys. You can use the Korean-style barbecue marinade, or you can use any marinade for beef and add it to this particular uh, beef short ribs and let it marinate for a good two to three hours. If not, uh, do it for 24 hours, but no more than that, guys. Um, the great thing about these these are uh, these beef short ribs are the chuck roast kind guys because you can see about a good four or five bones right here uh, Actually, there's four bones and the, sh uh, the other short rib kinds is three bones So these are not cut with the bone meaning they're cut against the bone the bone and that's why we have these short little ribs These are about a quarter inch thick as you can see they're not that uh, big or thick and these are the LA style uh, Korean uh, barbecue short ribs and which is very popular in LA I mean look at this a lot of fiber a lot of marbling um, and just to let you know guys we gotta smoke them at a high temperature and get them you know nice and seared and so we can have some good delicious meat they're gonna be a little chewy but not that much it's just like eating a steak and I just want the beef to shine guys so I'm gonna let this marinate and uh, they're gonna be delicious so come on let's do that right now There she is guys, so let's start our Pitfalls Pro Series 850 and as you can see it's pretty hot today guys and as always open the lid and we're gonna let the rolling smoke come on through guys as you can see guys we got a nice rolling smoke going on so time to close our lid and we're gonna crank our temperatures all the way up to let's do about 400 degrees and we're gonna just wait for this to come up the temp. So we just hit our target temperature, guys. We're looking at 400 right here. I don't know how well you can see that with the camera, but it fluctuates between 397 to 400, as you just saw. So this is, let me take the cover off, what our marinade, oh man, beef short ribs look like. Oh yeah, this took about three hours, guys, to do. And we're gonna place those beauties in here oh man but first thing first guys i'm gonna sp spray a little bit of canola oil just for the grates and then once i place the short ribs in here 
we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of SP or um, excuse me GSP really lightly because uh, the marinade should have enough seasoning uh, salt wise so and I don't need any more salt added to my uh, beef uh, short ribs because I want the beef to shine one way or another so guys we're gonna place once again these beef short ribs in here and let them sear up real quick and give it a little kiss of smoke while we add it now that we got our beautiful korean style beef short ribs inside our pitbulls pro series 850 oh my god the aroma that's coming off the chimney Woo. <laughs> And we're using hickory wood pellets today, guys. I did forget to mention that earlier. It's our another uh, layer of flavor profile for our beef short ribs. Oh man, that's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna smoke these at a 400 degree temperatures and for about a good 20 minutes or so. It's not gonna take long because these are not that big uh, or thick wise. They are quarter inch thick anyway. So it depends on where you get your uh, short ribs from. Some might come a little bit you know, thicker than that, maybe like a half an inch or so, but these are very thin, so it shouldn't take that long. We're gonna flip them every 10 minutes just to get to that perfect color and consistency that we're looking for and then we're gonna smoke them uh, with that little kiss of smoke it's not gonna take much smoke to smoke these and then we might not have a whole lot of smoke flavor in them but they're gonna get a kiss of smoke and we're gonna get a kiss of heat and that flavor profile that we apply to it with the GSP guys oh man and that marinade that we use that herb and garlic that's gonna be a flavor profile that's gonna give a good um, an additional flavor to our beef short ribs. so Come on guys, we're gonna check on it every 10 minutes and let's see how it looks at that point. All right guys, it's been good 10 minutes at this point. Let's take a look at our beautiful Korean style short ribs. Oh man, take a look at that. Oh yeah, that's a good color. So we're gonna flip them at this point to see what they look like underneath. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about, baby. It ain't not gonna take long at all because like I said, these are very thin as you can see. And another 10 minutes or so, they're going to be pretty much done. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about right there, guys. Take a look at that color. Wow. They're looking amazing, guys. So now, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more SP or GSP, I should say, uh, on the opposite side. It's not going to be much because... Again, I want the beef to shine while it's still a little wet it's gonna absorb that rub in and we'll check it back in another 10 minutes all right guys we run about 400 degrees and it's been another 10 minutes let's take a look at our beauty oh man take a look at that guys oh yeah Look at that color. Look at those char marks there on these beef short rib guys. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Let's take a look. This is what I'm after. Man, take a look at that color guys. Wow. That's yeah, amazing guys. Alright guys, time for me to pull these off and I'll see you when it's the best part of the video, which is what? The taste testing. Alright guys, it's been good five minutes at this point that we just let it rest so all the juices can run back to the uh, meat itself and just to this redistribute so we can get a little moisture in these particular uh, Korean style beef short ribs. But let's get to the taste testing because that's the best part guys. Oh man, take a look at that guys. Wow. I mean, it, I don't know how well you can see that, guys, but this is amazing. And it's still juicy, as you can see, still glistening, guys. Oh, man, that perfect color. We've got a little char on them and everything else, guys. Look at that, guys. Oh, man. So, um, we just, you know, basically did a little bit of marinade with about two or three hours. Like I said, you can use any kind of marinade that you want for beef. And, you know, you can use the Korean style marinade if you want to. Uh, and then after that, once we place on the grill, we hit it with a little bit of GSP, all purpose rub by Pit Boss, just to give it a little oomph of flavor. And I just want the beef to shine itself, guys. And this is amazing. So let's take a bite, because I can't wait any longer. This is amazing. Let's take a bite right now, guys. Mmm. 
Oh man. Wow. This is really good. Wow. You can definitely taste the GSP flavors, guys. Hmm. Definitely with the marinade with the garlic. Oh my gosh, this is right. Sorry, let me take another bite. And I don't know how well you can see that, guys, but just a little smoke ring, just a tiny little bit, not much. I mean, maybe it's my eyes deceiving me, but oh man, it looks like a little tiny little smoke ring, but it tastes phenomenal. I gotta take another bite. Mm. It's cooked all the way through, guys, as you can see. Wow. This is phenomenal. It's not really, really chewy. It's, you give a little chew. Excuse me. You do have a little chew at the end because it's just like beef. It's like tasting a steak. The beautiful thing about these, this is a quick cook for dinner, for lunch, for snack, however you want to go about it. And the beautiful thing about this is that you can pre-marinate these for up to 24 hours. Throw them in the grill, no more than 20 minutes. Like I said, these are really thin. Put it in stick about that. So it didn't take much. Uh, at 400 degrees, we hit, hit them with a little kiss of smoke, and that was it, guys. This is the result of some beautiful Korean style barbecue. Oh man, guys, if you like this video, I hope you did. Uh, please hit that like button and share this with all your family and friends. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Tell me down below in the comments, guys, how do you make your Korean style barbecue? beef strollers if you never had them please comment down below as well because this is a recipe you must try at home so until the next time guys i salute everybody that saw this video and i'll see you in the next one